Hello, Daniel Stoltz here. Mr. Stoltz, this is Maria Town of the San Francisco Chronicle. Do you have a moment to chat? Sure, I'm out on an errand right now. But I think I can spare a moment. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. So my first question is, what is the secret to your success? You have a large personal stake in companies such as Microsoft and Apple. Your investments have proven to be pretty much perfect. Everything you fund turns a huge profit, and some say you have the Midas touch. What is the secret to your success? I don't do anything. I, you know, I let them get on with their business, and I don't interfere. So how do you choose what companies to invest in? I'm like any other investor. I'm a business person. I look at the business plans and make an informed decision. Let's turn the clock back a bit. In college, you were a theoretical physics major working on your PhD, but you quit grad school and invested the then modest savings into various high-risk ventures. Why the sudden change of lifestyle? Oh, you know how it is. I was 24 years old and I decided to change my life. Happens all the time. Several experts in the field say you had innovative ideas, ideas that could have revealed genuine understanding about the nature of time itself. They even talk about time manipulation. I did one equation on the curvature of space and people get all excited about time travel. I guess it makes for good press, but it's just theoretical speculation. But you wrote some detailed papers on it. In one, you actually state it was possible to rewind time sending your current consciousness back to a previous version of yourself. I was fantasizing. I never understood why people take that paper seriously. You patented your experimental equipment, though, then never allowed anyone else to reproduce it under threat of lawsuit. It completely stopped any further research on that line. Why would you do that? I'm a businessman. The lensing apparatus I invented could have real value in the marketplace. It was a step on the road to extremely accurate timekeeping. Of course I patented it. It might be worth millions someday. On a lighter note, let me ask you this. If you could rewind time, would you? Well, there'd be some serious downsides. Like what? You'd have to remake all the relationships you'd had, especially the important ones. Let me ask you, are you married? Yes, I am. Four wonderful years. So, when did you meet your husband? Uh, well, we dated for two years before we got married, so I guess it would be six years ago now. All right. Imagine you rewound time ten years. Now you have to wait four years just to meet him again. And even when you do, you have to do everything just right. If you mess up, he might not be interested, or he might end up with another woman. See the problem? If you value your personal relationships, rewinding time would be risky. I have to go. I have an important meeting. Anything else? No, no, that's great. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Mr. Stoltz. I know how busy you are. No problem. Take care. Bye. Bye. I'm Daniel Stoltz. We've never met before, but I actually used to live in this neighborhood. I was a few buildings down. <laughs> and apparently you don't live here anymore. Yeah, that was a lifetime ago. Uh, things are different for me now. What can I help you with? I hear your cat just had a litter of kittens. Nice to see you again, Sarah. I've missed you.